back everyone, my name is Eltamar and we are going to be continuing our Let's Play of Pathfinder Kingmaker. Where we left off last time, we were on our way to the Ancient Tomb. I ran into a boar, and it was just a random encounter so it didn't matter too much. But I've come to realize that hard mode is stupidly hard. I'll give you an example why. Let's move a boar already. has 24 armor class. At level 2, we have plus 6 to hit, plus 7 if we have, um, less on. So that means we would need to roll a 17 on our best attacker just to hit the boar. It's 18 on our next best attacker, which is our rogue and our inquisitor. So they have a 15% chance to hit. Jade Maul has a 20% chance to hit. Uh, he has a plus 4 to hit, which means that he has to roll a critical hit to hit. And she needs to roll a 19 or 20, or about a 10% chance. It's not fun hoping that you randomly get crits or near crits in order to just hit the creature once. So we're not gonna bother. I'm just playing on challenging mode. Hard mode is stupidly hard at the moment. A gnome and gaudy purple guard seizes your attention. Of course, the scoundrel Tartuccio, who you knew from your time in Restov. The vile gnome is standing on a small hill, expressing his discontentment in every way he can muster. Let me guess, you're still dawdling. <laughs> Should I make some tea in the meantime? Bake a pie, perhaps? Plant a small garden and harvest some cherries? Perhaps you'd be more comfortable wearing fool's caps and colored trousers. Then at least I'd be able to sell tickets. Come one, come all! Feast your eyes upon the slowest and the most ridiculous buffoons in Galorian! Sir Tartuccio, I may serve you, but I am no one's slave. We do what we can. It is no simple feat to find an unknown object in a lost dungeon. Uh, uh, <sighs> Digging through a dusty dungeon, searching for I don't know what, and all this frowning. Scold, scold, scold. This is not how I imagined adventures with the future Baron. What am I ever going to write my book about? How we labored to open a chest filled with dust? Quickly now, if we don't find that artifact soon, someone else might seize it. Someone... Standing over there watching you right now, you fools! Tartuccio turns his angry gaze upon you. He nods to his guards to draw their weapons. Lindsay, don't you think it's time to throw away that silly draft instead of a real book? You already have a great protagonist, me. Yes! I shall overturn a new leaf, and on that leaf I shall pen a wonderful, thrilling story of the victory of the future Baron and the bitter defeat of his malevolent, flatulent rival. Nah. Lindsay sticks out her tongue at Tartuccio after jumping for joy. I see my magnificent rival will stop at nothing, even at stealing the servants of his enemy. Let us see if your fools are even more useless than mine. Draw your swords and cover my retreat. I need, yeah! I need inspiration. All right, so we got some mercenary skill. Out of my way! Spells not oh, I don't have like enough sight. Or I don't have a direct charge path. That's okay though. Unworthy. Uh, Lindsay, you're gonna die. Um... Oh man, she's just gonna die. There's really nothing I can do about it right now. I can almost charge him and see if I can save her. Oh dear. He is enlarged, which is kind of bad for us. Why are you trying to run around in circles, enemies? I always survive. Ow. There we go. Alright, you do that. Go kill him. Or try to. That'll kill that one. How, there is, how is a tiny no warrior beating up my guys? There we go. Maybe he's a dwarf warrior, but it looked more like a gnome. All right, Lindsay's alive so and we well enough, I guess. Um, she's leveling up to level two as a bard, which gives her some new skills: trickery, knowledge arcana, knowledge world, persuasion, use magic device. Good enough. And she gets a bard talent like weapon focus. Or a combat trick. 
But I think weapon focus might be better. What weapon is she using? She's using a crossbow, I want to say. A light crossbow? She can use light crossbows. We get a spell. We need a spell that does AoE. Like... None of these. Vanish isn't awful. Remove fear is actually pretty good. Yeah, maybe remove fear. Alright, we're gonna try and use our bard well in this game by using songs and stuff. I tend to let my bards just do whatever and it never works out well, so until we replace her, we'll be more careful with her. A one-handed unidentified sword. I'm gonna guess it's a long sword plus one. In fact, I'm pretty certain that's what it is, and I am correct. We're gonna give that to nobody at the moment. Bummer. Alright, we need to rest, but we can't rest in here because we will um, not have any food. We didn't bring any rations with us on our little trip because they're expensive. Alright, what do we got? It seemed from afar to be but cracks in the stone, but it turns out to be the faded image of the sun. A grinning jackal skull has recently been scratched on top of the image. On closer inspection, one can discern the outline of a head with a single eye. Judging by the outline this ball release, once depicted the sun and the moon, now it's almost completely reloaded. Or er, er, eroded, sorry. Maybe it's bass release? I don't know. The image carved into the stone is almost completely worn away over the ages. One can still distinguish a sickle, a sword, and a skull with a single eye socket covered with a coin. I'm gonna pause my group here and just see if I can't heal a little. Bards are good because they have some healing spells. They're actually kind of useful. Why did Jade Maul open that? Ancient Cyclops coin. 100 gold. Hmm. How curious. I'll take care of it. You should. You have the highest trickery of anyone in our group. Impossible. It's not impossible. All you need to do is roll a nine or above. You're fine. Take ten. Resting would be nice, don't you think? That was That's easy. better. Oh. Uh huh. Uh huh. Bus relief of the sun long eroded. The vague outlines of four strange creatures have been carved over it. I won't be halted. And I guess that's it for this area. Appears to be so. How sweet the first breath of fresh air after the stale, damp stiffness of the tomb. Sorry, stuffiness of that tomb. Before a stretch an unending heath, replete with hills, gullies, and patches of low shrubs. Already the trail of Tartusio and his companions had gone cold. But we would not give up so easily. Whether the trail went cold or not, it was one we had to follow. No blade of grass was bent. It must have had enough time to straighten back up since whoever last passed through, but the heat's dry earth preserved the prints of little shoes. Our eyes to the ground, we followed the trail. We walked and walked until finally we came to a huge gully, the dried up bed of, of River of Yore. But what is this? At the edge, the grass was trampled down and the soil turned up and claw prints, lots of them. We stumbled upon a fresh battlefield, and here the trail split. One set of footprints walked away from the battle and down into the gully. The brave footprints that faced down their enemies followed the path along its edge. We tried to find any traces of magic in the surroundings. We discovered traces of a spell, apparently from the Illusion School of Magic near where the lonely trail descended into the gully. We followed the path beside the gully, I think. At first the path went right along the steep edge, but soon it turned, circling around a thick and prickly bush. No sooner had we turned than we ran into a band of kobolds who were approaching from the opposite direction. If there were any footprints on the path, the kobolds surely trampled them, but we had no time to concern ourselves with that. Because we were in combat yet again.
We have to wait till he shows up again. I know exactly where he is, though. But we do have kobolds to kill, and we're sort of not at great life this right now. That kobold sentinel has a surprising amount of health for a kobold. Okay, we need to sing. Shoot that. I don't care what you do. Inspire! You know what? Move here. I want you to charge. There we go. That one kills that. Are you two shooting at the alchemist? I hope so. The alchemists are ripping us apart. Damn. Alright. We're gonna have to reload. The auto save, I guess. No, we'll get the quick save. Alright. We'll do that exact same trail thing again, but this time we'll be ready for the kobolds. We'll have Bless on. And we'll charge the alchemist and hopefully take one of them out immediately. It's time to act. Even challenging mode's kind of tough in this easy. game. They've scaled it really weirdly. Grab that, I don't know if it's important. There we go. Alright, off to Sartuccio again. Follow the trail, detect magic. We went along the gully and we ran into kobolds. Okay, pause. First of all, bless. Second of all, song. Unworthy. Okay, this is going much better. Alchemist, kill him first. That alchemist. Oh, that was much easier. We must have just got really terrible rolls the first time. That went way, way better. Alright, everything died. We're good to go. We should probably head back to the tavern. Or the inn. Trade post? Trade post, that's what it's called. And rest up, because we're going to need to... Well, basically rest, because our supplies are non-existent. And we're going to get uh, exhausted soon. Or fatigued, I should say. We won't be exhausted yet. Lindsay is fatigued. I don't know exactly why. Probably from being in Tartuccio's employ. Let's go rest up. And sell some junk, because I think we are... Well, now we're way overloaded. Because we only have one person in our group. I mean, even normally. What's going on? Listen, there's... Well, since you dispatched the bandits with a skill, maybe you can help with another problem. There's a feral swine living here in the woods, not a normal pig. We're talking about a vicious boar, as big as a bear and wicked as a devil. The locals call him Tuskutter. Many hunters have lost life and limb to him. Deckel Benson found his lair and went to kill the beast, but came back with one leg. He put a bounty on the boar's head, but it looks like there aren't any heroes around bold enough to claim it. Maybe you'll rid us of this monster. Amiri livens up. Hey, we're better than the local wussies, right? Wanna bet I can chop off its snout with a single swing? Come on, let's find out. Alright, let's go kill it. Amiri gives you a wide grin and slaps your shoulder. Right, that's the way you'd like it. Or that's the way I like it. Let's do it. Kill the giant boar, known as Tuskutter. Alright. Now. We're going to keep the longsword plus one, even though it is worth 600 gold. Magic weapons aren't super easy to come by in this game. I'm going to keep the composite bow and give it to our rogue, which I should have done already, but I didn't. And we're going to get rid of most of this. Not all of this. A lot of scale armor, but scale's not all that great. It weighs a ton, though. And now we're Looking better in terms of... Do I want to sell this? How much money would this give us? 375, right? Which puts us up to a little over a thousand. And plus one to DC of enchantment school spells. 
isn't super important. Keeping the Scorched Fragment of the Necklace for sure. It's got that ring around it. I think that means it's important. If I had to hazard a guess anyways. Alright. Merchant would pay well for it. We'll keep the cooking ingredients for now, but we'll get rid of everything that the merchant would pay well for. Um. We're not getting paid very well for all of these things. We do have a lot of things to sell. Chocolate's worth a fortune. You know what? I don't even really, really care about cooking ingredients. Just sell it all. We might be able to make enough money to get a character out of it all. Probably not, but closer. Pearls are practically worthless in this game. I'll keep the books so we can read them in later on. I'll do like a lore video where I just read books. But for now, we're not gonna sell camping supplies though. That's different. We need 600 more gold. I mean, we could sell the sword and just get another character. We could get an actual mage and then go do the spider quest. But I kind of want to keep the sword around. Because I'm going to make a character that uses long swords. There's a couple of good ones in the game. We don't really have much else to sell either. I guess we'll have to hope it out or hold it out for a little bit. We could just sell all of our potions, but nah, it's a stupid idea. Alright, good enough. Let's go rest and then head out. We're not as encumbered anymore. And we do have a bow for our rogue, so if we go to our rogue, we can give her the composite longbow. Which should do a tiny bit more damage. We'll get her weapon focus next feat that she gets. So that she can hit more often with it. And then that will be good, hopefully. It's kind of a laggy autosave, but okay. Alright, let's head out. Let's go find some more things to do. There are many. Onwards! If only we had a mage, we could actually do that stupid spider quest. Swarms are just not cool at this part of the game. We have no ability to deal with them right now. Other than if we bought some alchemist fire and dealt with them that way. But there are three swarms in there, and so we'd have to have them stack up really well, and our alchemist fire would actually do a bunch of damage. Which isn't... super... likely. We get terrible rolls, that's our... That's our fate in life. Alright, where are we headed to? We've done the ancient tomb, we haven't finished the fangberry cave. There is a blackberry meadow, that's a kingdom resource, we haven't gotten a kingdom yet. So let's head out and just go search around. That's the ford. That's where we're supposed to go, quote unquote. And we have encountered something on the road. Let's find out what it is. Probably bandits? A group of well-armed fighters approaches. One of them raises their voice, pointing at you. Hey you, stop right there. Kalana, look at this one. Will he do? The group's leader lays her cold and watchful eyes upon you. This one? I suppose, but I don't like his snout. She studies your companions, carefully, but nonchalantly, as if examining goods at the market. Listen, you tramps, we're from the Technic League. Our slave died and we need a replacement. One of you will be coming with us, the rest of you are free to go. I advise against resistance. It would be a quick trick to kill every one of you. Choose now the one that you will give. I'll make you eat your own entrails. Big mistake. I don't think it is, but it might be. We'll see. Tear them apart! And... 
Jade Maul is going to Out of my way. take on that one, I think. Sure. You and you. Yeah. Shoot at that this mage. Will hurt. There's two mages. Alana and this other unnamed mage. I'll see if I can't kill them. You cast Bless. Maybe? Yes. Cast Bless. They go down! Yes! <laughs> Excellent, Jade Maul missed. Oh, and he's blinded. Okay, we're gonna try and remove blind, because blind is the stupidest debuff to get at level two. So, hopefully this will help. All right, one dead. Repent. You have crossed paths with the Technic League. This shall be your undoing. Alright, she left. Survive. I always survive. This can't be over. Harem, you gotta stay alive for a few minutes. I gotta finish this archer off. Or not, because I can't hit anything. Serves you right. Why is Harem? How can Jade Maul not hit an archer? Thank you. you like, I can run. absolutely see him not hitting a swordsman with a shield, but an archer? Could be worse. And will be. There we go. Oh dear. We have some a warm welcome from a Technic League with to follow Kalana's trail. We could get a mag or a magus. Ooh, an S stock. A magical S stock plus one probably. Haunted. And we're gonna need to rest because we just took the beating of a lifetime again. Every fight seems to be sort of a beating of a lifetime situation. Let's manage this though. Lindsay is good at what cooking. Let's no let's not use our rations. We can hunt here. We got plus eight. Should be fine. We could sell the S stock plus one for a character. Oh, our cook actually prepared a good meal. We could go do the Technic League stuff, I guess. And then we should definitely have enough money. We and plus two new characters. Where's the way out of this zone? The way we came. The insidious henchmen of the ominous Technic League have disappeared into the thick wilderness of the mysterious stolen lands, but not for long. Soon to be upon them. First, though, we had to pick up their trail. To do that, we tried to understand, based on what we'd seen, what kind of spell Kalana used to get away and where it could bring her. We easily recognized the spell Kalana used to flee had a small range, no further than 600 feet. We checked our surroundings in this range and quickly found the place she teleported to as well as a trail leading from there. Inspired by our success, we tried to find people who could have seen this despi or these despicable people. The wilderness only seemed deserted at first glance. Wandering the area, we found a few mushroom gatherers and hunters who told us where they'd seen our quarry. We hadn't discovered the exact position of their camp, but we were closing in. After this, we, without searching for other ways to simplify our work, we followed the trail of the Technic League. The henchmen of the ominous... Oh, we, we just found it. We didn't... Yeah. The henchmen of the Ominous Technic League are truly insidious, and the stolen lands a mysterious thicket, but the true heroes think nothing of such things. We easily picked up the trail of these scoundrels and soon found their camp. So, 157 experience for that, plus whatever else each other thing was. This is why skills are important in this type of game. You get experience for doing things like searching out trails and stuff. The Technic League is actually further away than the Thornford that we're on our way to. And we're not quite up a level. I'd like to get another level under our belts before we take on Thornford. Just based on the... Annihilation we've been experiencing lately. I think it'd be for the best. I wonder if we can go into this zone. No, it's just a resource. Okay, that was worth a check. Let's see what it is. 
Worst case scenario is another nightmare and we die horrifically, and I mean just brutally horrifically. We'll see though. Can you make an epic pose? Oh, it's just bandits. Any hard bandits? Just just a couple archers? Okay. Spell's not working like that. I know it's not, you have to be in line of sight, but now you're in line of sight, so go. Charge. That archer died. We still have darkness on Amiri, which is really bad as well. I won't be halted. How did we not lose those bodies? Aren't they close enough? I guess not. We got some experience for that. How much? 18 kill, so getting there. I think I will go try and recruit one more character though before we go face off against Thornford. I need a mage desperately. We'll explore a little bit further and then we'll... Oh, there's another... What's this called? You can't see. The arrow's in the way. Fine, we'll just go there. It's called Moist Basin. It has medicinal herbs for our kingdom. <laughs> Adventures can wait. We have fatigue started too, which is not great. We'll head back. Everyone's getting Don't fatigued. Let's head home. I really hope later we can get carts and horses, because otherwise there's going to be a lot of tedium around getting back to base before fatigue kills you. Or it doesn't kill you, but makes it so that you will basically die at the first encounter you come across. We also need stronger characters. Because encumbrance is seriously a problem in this game. Alrighty, so we have an S stock, 600 bucks. We're gonna sell it. Oh, uh, we'll just leave everything on. What else we got? Breastplate, we'll keep that. We can probably give that to somebody actually. We'll do that in a second here. Shields, long swords. Garbage leather. Alright. So now we're at 2,500 gold. We also need a potion of removed blindness. I don't think that Oleg has anything like that, but Bakken does. Seven- no. Screw that. 750 bucks for a potion of cure blindness. We're gonna replace Amiri soon enough anyways. She can be blind until then. Alright, new character time. We need a wizard. We need a cool looking wizard. That is the craziest looking gnome I think I've ever seen. He's an adorable cleric or wizard or bard. One of the three. Um, no. I'm to that one wizardy looking dude. Mm, kinda. That's the one. Let's grab him. Alright, he's gonna be human, because why not? He's got sort of whitish, grayish hair. He's more of a scrawnier dude, too, kind of like that. Yeah, that looks kind of like him. Good enough. So we could go wizard or sorcerer on this. Let's take a look at them. So we can get an imperial sorcerer, which is. A Divine Sorcerer, which is kind of neat. Sylvan Sorcerer, our Nature Sorcerers, I guess. Sage Sorcerer is... A little bit different as well. What do they get? Bloodline-related abilities. That could be cool. Do we get to choose a bloodline? Alternatively, we could be wizards, arcane bombers, Thessalonian specialists, or scroll savant. I'm not going to be an arcane bomber, but maybe a Thessalonian specialist.
We could choose specific schools, and then we restrict a different school. Interesting. I mean, we could totally do that. But what schools would we get rid of? Do we get to choose? We do get to choose. Um. Let's get familiar. What do we want them to have, though? Not athletics, not, pers not persuasion. Hit points isn't awful. Will save is not going to be great for wizards because they're already going to have high will. Knowledge world, though, might be useful. And perception. Maybe? Oh, natural armor bonus isn't great. Fort might actually be okay. So, will and perception? No. Hit points? It's only plus three hit points. There are better. Lore nature? So so. I'm gonna go with knowledge world, I think. Okay, so we can choose our skill. I want probably evocation, but then we lose abjuration conjuration, which actually I think is okay. What is haste? Is haste an enchantment? I think haste is an enchantment. Alright, we're gonna pause for well not pause, but just minimize for one sec. Pathfinder uh, haste. We're gonna quickly just look this up, because I'm really curious. It is transmutation, so that's fine. Abjuration we don't really need. Look at Wrath. I like Evocation. Oh, it tells you what they are. Suppressing magic. Um, and Conjuration is summoning things, obviously, so... Wrath. Sounds good to me. Wizards need Int. Straight up, they just need Int. Like, lots of it. Um, other than that, though, they don't need too much other stuff. We're gonna give ours some strength. So we can carry things in dexterity so it doesn't die. We have one extra point. It's not ideal. Some constitution? Yeah. Oh, we should get dex over. Oh, but I want strength. Because he's going to be using a crossbow or something along those lines. Yeah. Alright, I guess. So all the lures, and then I guess maybe... I don't know. He's not very good at persuasion. He's not very good at perception either. None of the other skills are really all that good for him. Give him some mobility so he can tumble. Sure, I guess. Okay, so. We're going to spell focus on evocation. We must make our evocation as good as possible. With combat casting is ultra important, by the way. We can just be really good at evocation. Alright, let's try that out. We're gonna be great at evoking things. Okay, so our evocations are things like Magic Missile, um, Shocking Grasp, which is pretty good, but requires us to be in close range. Not keen on going into close range. Um, we're gonna need things like... Flare Burst is okay. Burning Hands is gonna be very important. Actually, we're gonna grab all of these. Color Spray and Large Persian. Leap. And one more. Pause fear. Alright. I can actually hear their voices, but I'm gonna go with Madman. Waffle Evil, like the rest of our group. And that's our character. We now have a wizard as well. Let's go rest. Uh, before we rest. Skills. Oh, we also need to level them up. So, wizard, obviously. 
Can't do intelligence yet. We have five skill points. One, two, three, four. Why did I choose mobility? Right. And we get one more, two more spells. So let's grab... Vanish. Hurricane Bow is actually not too bad. Flare Burst is also pretty okay for a CC type spell, at least early in the game. And does anyone else have new skills to learn? Specifically you? No. And when we recruit someone, are they... No, they start at the low experience, so 2,000 out of 5,000. Which means that if we get close to a level, we should almost grab the level first and then hire the hero. So that they're at the right level. Interesting. Kind of annoying, but also interesting. Now that we have a wizard, though, we're gonna go quickly try the spider cave. It won't take too long, and I'm hoping that we can just do it quick. Ish. Alright, we've come back full circle. Let's do this thing. Maybe. Alright. Bless. We'll use our song shortly. Okay. So swarms. Swarms suck, by the way. I think I've mentioned that a few times, but no one understands my plight. Almost killed them. All right, one group of them dead. This body holds no more. This will hurt. It's all you're fine. Just relax. Um. Try Force Missile, and also we're going to use other things. Everything at our disposal to win this fight. We have some of these. Okay, so Force Missiles are immune, or they're immune to Force Missiles. If they're immune to these, we might be in trouble. Alright, so the spider's dead. We've done three damage to the swarm. It is 100% immune to all of our damage. Assist me or lose me. Jolt does not seem to work. Does bleeding touch work? Oh dear, this could go very badly. Alright, so Jathal, start firing off some of those and move out of the swarm's range. Oh, you can't, it's stuck on you. Alright. What else do we have? Ray of Frost. I don't know if we can actually hit them. Let's see. What's our attack roll on the uh, Ray of Frost? Missed. That's because the armor cost is 17 versus the Ray of Frost. Okay. So not great chances. So we got Rave Enfeeblement won't help us at all. Alright, we're just gonna have to play this out. Let's see what happens. They're mean to that. Oh yeah, she hit it with an Nessa Splash. Or she killed it with an Nessa Splash. We won! Hooray everybody, we did it. We're heroes. That was a terrible fight, and we have ability drain now. Bangberries though, we got them. 
Why are you- Wait, what's your knowledge nature? I'll take the bait. Your knowledge nature sucks. Let's move already. The waste of my time. Oh my god. All of you guys suck at knowledge nature checks. What do you need to do? DC 20. Thank you. Alright, we got some fang berries. We're leaving. We're gonna go back to the place and arrest. Get some experience for doing this quest in. Swarms are a pain. I should have gotten another burning hands though. I thought we had enough burning hands. We did not have enough burning hands. One more burning hands would have been good. Anyways, we're gonna head back to the thing. We'll start the next video at that point. So we'll call it here. Like always, if you have any suggestions or comments, please leave them below. Otherwise, I'll see you all next time.